hello guys welcome back to another video of unix programming in this video we are going to discuss about shell scripting shell scripting is nothing but uh, is executing a shell commands within a group of com with uh, with a group of commands i mean if you use who or uh, ls w pwd or like that commands so you can use those commands to execute a task so in this way the shell scripting will be done the commands that we are entered uh, are that we are that we are uh, learned earlier in the in my videos you can see those videos about the commands and the explanation the those commands are used in shell scripting and uh, here we can see some command substitution and file substitution con concepts so the before going to those uh, these topics we are going to build some basics so that basics will be covered here and there are a there are four different types of shells in unix so first shell uh, these four shells can be changed by using chsh command which is not covered in our earlier videos but while i am changing the uh, shell in unix it is not able to change um, saying that pam authentication failure i don't know what is the reason uh, if you know how to solve it please comment them in the comment section i mean please uh, mention the solution in the comment section and there are totally four different types of shells in our unix which will come uh, which will come from pre installed there uh, the, these four different shells are bone shell corn shell born again shell and c shell you can see the parts that that I had mentioned here bin slash bash and the and the shell indicated by dollar prompt whenever you are uh, waiting to enter the command in the terminal there you can see this type of symbols dollar dollar like this uh, most of the shells will consist of dollar prompt but c shell will consist of percentage symbol i mean percentage symbol while you are entering a command at the terminal and here these are the meta characters that we that we are going to cover in this section see here output redirection this greater than symbol is nothing but an output redirection which uh, which means we can uh, redirect the output into one file to another file i mean uh, the output came from a command can be redirected can be uh, can be redirected into a file and that file will be stored that output that we got from the command and here also greater than greater than symbol it is used to append the standard output to a file when you entered a command and if you got an output in order to append that output to a file then you need to use these two greater than symbols and next one is input redirection it will take the input i mean uh, it will take the input from a file and star star is nothing but a wild card it is for file substitution you guys can see or uh, you can you guys can see this star is used in the uh, regular expressions also it is an atom it is an atom or operator i don't think so so and this is a question mark this means it will match any single character and this is a group so in this uh, we will uh, use some characters uh, to group i mean uh, from the range it means this means range and here command command means it means uh we need to specify if you want to use any commands in the shell scripting while shell script uh, while shell scripting if you want to use any commands then you need to place that command in the uh, in the curl quotations i mean you can see that the number 1 i mean the key of number 1 present in our keyboard left to it is called the curl quotation you can use that uh, you can use that meta character while uh, if you want to use any commands while you are scripting okay and here this is uh, another meta another set of meta characters uh, first one is pipe uh, it it will send the output here also it will send the output this greater than symbol also but this will send the uh, this will send the output of one process to the input of other but whereas it will send the output to a file and tell to store the output into a file but it will send as the uh, i mean it will send the output of one process to input as other process i mean to input to the other process and here uh, semicolon uh, if you want to use any 
sequence of commands in order to execute then we place that semicolon in between these two commands if you want to execute and here uh, r symbol and this is n symbol conditional or conditional and if any if previous condition fails then the next condition will execute i mean if previous command fails to execute the next command will execute if any one of the command got false i mean not executed in this conditional and case next command also won't get executed here this uh, this meta character is used for group of commands this parenthesis and here if you want to uh, background any process i mean if you want to run a command in the background then you need to specify the command i mean you need to specify this symbol ampersand symbol after the command that you want to run in the background and here hash hash means all characters follow up to a new line and ignored by the shell programs i mean hash is used for comment and here dollar it will expand the variable it will expand the value of variable simply i will say because uh, i mean if you have c programming i mean if you have any idea related to c programming while you are uh, printing a variable like printf percentage d you will use percentage d as a type specifier as a specifier in order to print it but here to print that uh, variable that we have uh, that we had uh, in uh, that we used in the shell script then you need to use dollar sign in order to expand the value and in order to print it and here slash it will prevent the special interpretation i mean the next see i mean that escape sequence and the tab spaces will be prevented by using that character backward slash and slash slash t okay it will read the standard input from the script and that's all what i want uh, got for this video these are the meta characters that we covered in this and uh, in later session we will cover one by one i mean one by one meta character we will see the example and then we will go to shell scripting slowly see here the commands you need to know about the commands that we had covered so in order to learn shell scripting you need to know and you need to get a grip of a grip about the commands so if you directly seeing this video i am leaving a uh, leaving a suggestion here i in the cards you need to see that video before starting the shell scripting before uh, because shell scripting is mostly dependent on commands so you need to use some commands like this uh, i mean in this meta using this meta character uh, so that your uh, scripting will be easy if you use more commands so for that you need to know about the commands and their functionality that we had discussed in the earlier videos uh, this is what all i got for this video i hope you like watching this video please do like and subscribe to our channel have a great day